the first ionization energy and the second ionization enthalpies or it is uh, and i should take it enthalpy i should not change it the first ionization enthalpy and the second ionization enthalpies in kilojoule per mole of few elements designated by roman numerals are shown below see these are few elements 1 2 3 4 their ionization enthalpies, i.e. 1 and i.e. 2. That is first ionization enthalpy and the second ionization enthalpy. The question is, which of the above elements is likely to be a reactive metal? See, it has to be a metal, first of all. Right? It has to be a metal. Metals are electropositive. That is, they, they have the tendency to lose electron and form M plus ion. Most reactive means it should have least ionization energy. So, the second element should be a reactive metal or as you can say is a reactive metal. Then see that the jump between the first ionization energy and enthalpy and the second ionization enthalpy. There is a huge difference between it. It means that the second electron is removed from the stable configuration NS2, NP6. As is the case with alkali metals. Let's take it potassium for that matter. Let's for as, a, as an example. Potassium, the configuration is the, I'm writing the outer configuration only, right? 3s2, 3p6, 4s1. First ionization enthalpy will be less and second will be very, very high. It would be high. If I'm taking sodium here, it will be 2s2, 2p6 and 3s1. In this case, the second ionization enthalpy will be very high because the electron is to be removed from the shell which is very close to nucleus or which is tightly bound to the nucleus. The next is a reactive non-metal. It has to be a non-metal, right? A non-metal has a tendency to accept electrons or non-metals are electronegative in nature. That is, the non-metals, uh, they accept electrons and they form negative ion. That is, the one with a very high ionization energy will be a non-metal. That is, this is high first ionization energy and the second ionization energy also. In this case, see, it is 1680. It is 1680 and 3380. So that is fourth is a reactive non-metal. A noble gas. See, a question arises that why I am not taking the first one as a reactive non-metal. In this case, students, the ionization energy is very, very high. See, it's 2372 and 5251. A huge amount of energy is required to take out electron. It means these, this element is not able to accept electron also. So a noble gas, the first one is a noble gas. A metal and the last is a metal that forms binary halide of formulae AX2. X2 or halogen. So you have no choice. What is left is this. See, this is the third one here is forming, it has got moderate ionization energies. See here, the first one is high. Of course, it is higher than the second one. The second element, the ionization energy of the second element and the ionization energy of the first element. The fourth element is, see, uh, 1680. And the second one is 3380. So this can form the, of course, energy is required. So this can form the binary halide or a stable binary halide of formula AX2. These are moderate. The ionization energies are moderate. The values are moderate. Right?